Food for endless Italian dishes, Vincenzo's Pizza is your one-stop shop. From their hand-tossed thin crust pizzas, to their meaty Chicago dogs and their toasty sandwiches, to their creamy chicken alfredo pasta. I love their chicken alfredo pasta. Vincenzo's New Hall has exactly what your appetite desires. With fresh ingredients, 12 cold beers on tap, and live entertainment on the weekend, you will not be disappointed. Vincenzo's Pizza, inch for inch, the best pizza in the Santa Clarita Valley. Now we have Yvette Sanchez with sports. So Yvette, I hear you had a nice drive to Ventura Tino to check out the Cougars play this past weekend. I will say it was a very long drive, but it was well worth it. The Cougars went to Ventura to play the Pirates as they go for their sixth straight win of the season and first place in the National Division. And what an exciting matchup it was this weekend. Both teams were undefeated and both, both uh, teams were ready to play their hearts out. COC had no problem starting the first quarter with the bang, first drive of the game. We have Lance Poole with an interception. Although they had the first interception of the game, that wasn't enough. The Pirates scored the first touchdown with 13-22 left in the first. The point after is good. Pirates lead the Cougars 7-0, but that doesn't last too long. With 3.32 left, Matt Boeing pushes it in, tying the score 7-7. And there we go, another beautiful 40-yard pass for a touchdown. The Pirates quarterback scrambles to throw away that ball, but our very own Lewis Gibb intercepts it for a beautiful 63-yard run. And check this out in the next play. On a first down, we've got another 40-yard run that brings the uh, Cougars very close to the end zone, but for a change of pace, keeping it simple sweet, Matt Boeing pushes it in for a final touchdown. Pirates uh, lose to the Cougars 44-23, making this their sixth straight win. Here in Valencia, high school action was in full swing as the Golden Valley High Grizzlies came to Cougar Stadium to play the Hart Indians. The Indians look to keep their top spot in the CIF Northern Division, even without star running back Connor Withenroth in pads. Brady White, Brady White would make up for that in the Indians' first drive as the junior quarterback runs it in himself for the 30-yard line in the first score of the game. West Ranch would literally throw the ball away as the Indians' defense sacks Wild's quarterback, Robert Phillips. He tries to throw the ball away, but fumbles it at the, at the ball's land. Indians would end half 34 to zero. In the third, White would throw it to Trent Irwin, who makes a spectacular catch between defenders to put the game to rest. The Indians will bulldoze the Grizzlies 61-13. Excuse my hiccups with my throat. The West Ranch Wildcats also had a tough task on Friday night as they hosted the Valencia Vikings at home just down the street at West Ranch High. Early in the first quarter, Vikings quarterback Jake Wallace drops back and connects with receiver Malik Townsend, who jukes and spins his way around Wildcat defenders for the 22-yard score. Vikings take the early 7-0 lead. Still in the first, Wallace makes his progressions and launches the ball deep to his summer training roommate, Nick Jones for a 55-yard bomb, another aerial score for the home team as they go up 14-0. Next drive, and it's Wallace back to Townsend again for another touchdown. Wallace showing off his arm with a 70-yard throw to Townsend for a three-score lead. He would catch four touchdowns on that night. And in the second quarter, the Vikings showed their power running game with a touchdown run by senior Stone Jackson. The five-yard run put the Vikings up by 28 and would win 42 to six. Over at Saugus High School, there's a star player who scores every game for the, for the Centurions, plays multiple sports, and just won a spot on the homecoming court. The biggest difference, it's a girl. other teams say stuff to me because I'm a girl, but in our community, it's just support. I felt pressure because I was younger, so I felt like 
I had pressure to prove myself. Jenna Mears isn't the first female to play football, and she certainly won't be the last. And like most girls who've played the sport, she never allowed all the criticism and negative attention to stop her. She wanted to be a part of the team, she wanted to go in, she wanted to contribute, and she did. Jenna Mears, yes, she is going to try a 28-yard field goal. They support her more than the guys, not, not going to lie. Support her more just because she's a girl and doing a male sport, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we had Angie, Angie Weiner out here last year, graduated, so she just took over that role, but that's a big role to go, big role to take over, you know? Well, and Mears splits the uprights. For Jenna, football will always be an experience she'll never forget. But on Friday, October 11th, football wasn't the center of attention. Hey, don't they all look great? At first, going into it, I was really stressed out. I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to pull off changing from my uniform to a dress back to my uniform. It wasn't as hard as I thought because my I had my mom and her friend help me. They're over by the stairs where I was gonna come down. So I just changed really quick, like in kind of behind a bush. I was more worried about when they were announcing everything because I thought I was gonna run out of time because the time was running down for halftime. And it turned out all the stress and worry that night was worth it. If you saw a video of it, after I took the last picture, I ran down the track, like sprinted in my dress to change back to my uniform, and I made it. You know, we're all brothers, but she's our sister. She's, she's like our younger sister. We take care of her and uh, take care of her just like if she was our own little sister, you know? Football is just a fun environment. It's a different experience, and I, I think it would be more enjoyable to be, like, part of the action. Jenna most likely won't be receiving a Division I scholarship to be a place kicker, but she could be running track at UC Davis by next fall. For Cougar News at Saugus High School, I'm Tegan Martirosian. Well, guys, that does it for COC Sports, and what a great weekend it was. I even lost my voice. I'm Yvette Sanchez for Cougar Sports. Back to you, Haley. The youth of